Hello everyone, I'm Uncle Han Si. Welcome to the My Stories of Chinese Characters series. In this episode, I will explain the Chinese character Shi for food and share the story behind the Shi character. Hello everybody, I'm Uncle Han Si. Today's character is Shi which means food. If we look at the character, it's an upside down mouth. The mouth is ready to eat the food. And below, we have a container of food. Uh, this morning, we are at a Chinese outside market. And let's go see what Chinese like to eat. What kind of dish are you going to make? These are to be steamed mainly. The pork ribs are to be simmered in a soup. These are tomatoes and a pork heart. I boil it in water and marinate it and then roast it in the oven afterwards. I'm going to stir fry the vegetables, right? Simmer fry the meat with the pickles and make two other stir fry dishes. I bought some seasonings, pepper and stuff like that. I'll make a dish called fish fillets in hot chili oil and so on. Put a bit of oil in it, get some raw finger and spring onions, cover the pot with the lid and braise it up. Uh, this is a pig's foot. It goes on a pig. This is uh, congealed duck blood. Uh, these are pig's intestines. So this is a rack of ribs. It has a lot of meat on it. Uh, we can uh, buy some vegetables for the hogo tonight. We can buy some vegetables here. Chinese eat most everything. These are uh, various kinds of uh, uh, meatballs and uh, fish balls and stuff. And these are various kinds of spices, hua jiao, ma jiao, and la jiao. So I'm a bit hungry, so I think we'll go eat. Well, today I brought a couple of my friends here to uh, eat a huo guo, or hot pot. This is very famous in China. You can put anything in this uh, hot pot you want. It has some spices, especially uh, very hot spices called ma jiao. It numbs the mouth. And the word ma, it's the same as the word for hemp. It's also the same as the word for flax. And if you look at the modern character, it has two components which are written wrongly. If you look at the ancient character, it, uh, the bottom part is not ling, it's not for us. It comes from a uh, word a uh, pictograph called pi, and on the top it comes from a symbol for the sickle, which is used to cut the hemp. So, you can learn a lot from uh, Chinese food. Uh, this is one character that you can consider. <laughs> so that reminds me of another character, Xiang, which is used in the word Gu Xiang, which means your home people. In ancient China, your friends and your neighbors, they all ate together. So when we say Gu Shang, it means your old place where you grew up, your old friends, and especially the kinds of food that you ate when you grew up. The Chinese have a saying, Ming Yi Shi Wei Tian, which means that the people feel that food is like heaven. Uh, the middle character, Shi, if you, it's, means food, and you can see on the bottom it's like a bowl of food, and on uh, the top above is a mouth that is getting ready to eat the food. Uh, what this means is that food is not just something to make you full, uh, it's uh, an art form. Every place has a different kind of food, and over the past few thousand years, Chinese have developed many different kinds of food, and basically it's part of Chinese culture and it's an attitude toward life. Thanks for listening to this episode of My Stories of Chinese Characters. I'm Uncle Han Zi. In the next episode, we will interpret the Chinese character Gu for drum to understand the story of Chinese characters in Chinese music.
If you like the show, please give us a rating or a review. You can also check out the video version of this show at youtube.com slash learn Chinese for fun. See you next time.